This is Jack in the Middle. Today we're playing Walking War Robots. Let's go! So welcome guys to my War Robots Hangar and today we're going to do some gameplay and I'm going to introduce you to Master Shredder. Alright, so we're going to jump right into some gameplay. I'm just going to stop real quick and show you my profile, show you what my lineup is right now that I'm currently using. Um, I promise you guys I'll talk a little bit more about what's kind of going on in the game and right now this is one of my stronger builds. I believe I do have a dash dash robot and and if when I run the dash robot I believe it is a stronger build actually. Uh you know it may or may not be I don't probably probably if I had some uh, better weapons to go. Uh so I'm gonna show you also what league I'm in and what place I am in the league. Alright, let's see. I am at eighty two right now in the league. Alright, um so we're gonna jump into some gameplay. So but right now, you know, there's a little bit of a boycott going on and I'm just waiting for that to settle. I don't want to go against the grain. I want to kind of just, you know, just sit back and see what's going on. Honestly, I think it's ridiculous, uh, you know, over the boycott. I think what the developers are doing are pretty fair self, honestly. You know, and if these guys want to complain, nobody's complaining about goal, goal um, robots. You know, gold purchase robots and gold purchase weapons, which are the strongest robots and weapons in the game right now, and it's it's pretty hard to get the gold. You know, you um you get no more than five gold if you're the top player in a match. Um, you sometimes you get eight, sometimes you get thirteen, depending on um, certain situations. You get a little bit of gold, but um. You don't get gold for every match, and if you lose, you certainly don't get gold, even if you were a top player. And so, so right here, this is Master Shredder, by the way, on the field. He is a Leo with uh, Thunder and three Punishers uh, to boot, you know. And um, I, I cut down enemies pretty well, especially being a Leo, I have the highest hit points in the game. And, um, you know, so I stand out pretty well under fire. And, uh, and this robot here returns fire pretty well. Yeah, so, um, you know, nobody's complaining about the goal weapons in the game right now. And the goal, the game is ran with goal weapons, ran by goal weapons. And, you know, and they're pretty powerful. You come into that stuff, man, you better be careful, you better know what you're doing. You know, they have the splash weapons, they hit you when you're behind the wall, they, um, they tear up your robots, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible, but like I said, I don't want to go against the game right now. I'm you know, just going to some support. And I'm just kind of, I was kind of standing around, seeing what's going on, trying to just be cautious, because um, you know, some you, you don't want to run off charging into battle. Sometimes you got to be careful. So right here, what I'm doing, I'm backing up and scanning, and uh, making sure because their spawn point is over there to the left. And so I'm backing up and scanning around to make sure that um, 
you know, that nobody is going to respawn and kind of ambush us from behind. Because the hard points of the robots are in the front section. So basically, all the robots have a soft side on the back side. If you catch them in the back, it's pretty much the softer side of a robot. And so you don't want to have your back turned in, um, in warfare. I'm going to make a mistake coming up. I'm going to let's, let's see if we can catch that real quick before, um, before I continue. So basically, right now, you see what happened is I am not emptying out my weapon. I'm, I have my guns are less, more, uh, less than half full. You want to call it right now and um, I am still out here walking charging into battle so that's gonna get me into some trouble right now I'm gonna shoot off a couple rounds over here so I have less shoot off a couple rounds right here I have even less and then now here I get attacked and I run out of bullets so this, I'm gonna get Master Shredder is gonna get wiped out right here get caught up <laughs> Um, yeah guys so I got um so right now I'm not running my dash robots because you know um I just like to be agreeable with people right now and you know, people are a little bit upset and so they you know they're not um, kind of they're kind of boycotting the whole situation my intention was to run straight across to their beacon but this guy jumped out of nowhere so it's just kind of taking care of him first before I continue my journey over here and I'm gonna get stopped right now halfway there um, and so now here I'm trying to be smart and trying to clear out my weapon and uh, get, get attacked and, you know, on the way there. Maybe I warned him, so that was not probably a good idea shooting straight in front of me. I didn't know he was there and I uh, kind of probably warned him, so I got shot up a little bit and he was actually going to take me out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win the beacon first, yeah, I clear it out and I actually do win the beacon. I, I, I stay alive long enough to actually turn the beacon. Right, so he's gonna walk up to the beacon, but not before I come back with my other Leo here. And this Leo is an interesting build. Um, I could have gone three Magnums, but one, is, I believe it's a strong build for my um, Gareth to, to have hold of Magnum because it continually fires. You know, so I'm, I am, if I'm trapped in a situation, you know, you come down to your last strength, I'm always shooting. Uh, you know, <laughs> he's a small robot, always get caught in some situations, so I'm always, I'll always be shooting with a magnum. And, um, and also, and I have the Punisher, I use the Punisher on him, it's because I, you know, the Punisher is a, is a, is a strong weapon, as you guys could see from, it's my, my preferred build with Master Shaker. So this, we already, con we're controlling all the beacons, and we're gonna, this match is gonna wrap up right here. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to just visit who are the top players. I got five gold for capturing beacons on this one. Um, I say I captured five beacons. We're going to look at the top player on the blue team first. And then we're going to come back and we're going to look at the top player on the red team. And the top player here is, he looks like he's in Gold League 1. He only has four slots, but I advise you guys hold out for five slots. And you, um, I believe... I don't know, I kind of blew by that just now. Um, but this guy here, he has, he doesn't have much gold weapons either. So guys, you know, you, the, I guess the point is, my point is that you can compete without having all these fancy weapons at this stage. You know, if just keep upgrading your weapons. I showed you my weapons in the beginning of the video. You know, just keep upgrading your weapons as much as possible. And um, and you'll be better off. And um, the other thing I'm doing is making sure, like right now, I have tons of workshop points. I could get new weapons, new robots. But at the stage I'm at right now, I just want to keep upgrading what I have currently, and uh, I don't want to start over. You know, so if I if I purchase gold weapons, usually come a little bit upgraded. But um, if you purchase workshop weapons, they start at level one. And I don't feel like starting over at level one with any weapons right now. Some of the upgrades are they don't take forever, you know. What I mean, you could uh, you could have a, a weapon up to probably level five, level six within a day, but you know, um, it's level five and level six is is not cutting it for the level I'm at right now. So uh, you know, I'm I am I need level seven seven and higher weapons at least. So I'm just I'm making a conscious decision to finish to just stick with what I have right now, stick with what's working, and it and it works, you know. Um, I was a top scorer in um, in the league prior to this one, which was Gold League 3, but here in Gold League 2, you guys can see I'm coming out at the bottom of the list, but not all the time, no. some fights I do pretty well. 
Alright, so here I'm just walking around. And um, I'm not talking too much about strategy, but if you if you ever see me on these particular two maps, these are two of my favorite maps as a matter of fact. Valley being a new map on the um in the game. And um, and this map I guess has been around for a little while. It was here when I started the game. Apparently it is a newer map, but it's, it was here when I started the game. And um these are two of my favorite maps, so if you see me run these maps again, the strategy pretty much stay the same. So, you know, I walk, basically I stay, I, I am, I'm into attacking their base, especially with Master Shredder here on the job. And, um, I, you know, I go at attacking their base, but I also do it cautiously. I don't just charge in because when you charge in, you find yourself in what we call the cone of fire when you have two or more enemies shooting at you. And no matter how strong your robot is, you get two or more enemies shooting at you. And they're gonna fall. So uh, here we're, we're clearing them out. We actually won their beacon. But I'm looking and I'm like, hey, if we won their beacon, we should have four beacons here. And I'm gonna look over now to the right and realize they have stolen our beacon. So I'm just gonna make sure I go back and don't stand for that. I'm gonna um, put it laid on some law back over on our side here. I'm gonna have a few more guys spawning in. It's gonna get real interesting right now. Okay, so I'm gonna we have a little. Um, little guy here trying to steal center beacon again he already changed it i'm going to make sure he doesn't get to change it all the way i'm getting sniped from all the way across here there's another dude spawning in there's carnage and um my punisher just stripped that shield that ancillary shield energy shield straight off of him now for, to hit him with um kinetic weapons you know like bullets ballistic weapons stuff like that you need to um you need to strip the energy shield energy weapons go straight through the shield and hit the player you hit his body armor directly, but um, any kinetic weapons have to strip that shield first. You know, so you see, you have to strip that blue shield, you know, the blue mark is a shield. So when I was, I, you saw there, I locked onto him. So I'm learning how to use the lock and uh, target with enemies and whatnot. So right here, I'm just going to walk up with him because they once that beacon is still red, they could spawn in at any moment. So I'm going to just stick here with my guys and make sure that we start turning that beacon before I turn my attention and to, to something else. And I'm actually going to do something here that I don't like doing, I don't recommend doing, but um, I just, I, for some reason I thought, I said, you know, I looked at the bar and I don't think it was a smart idea. We were six to five and I said, I, I'm not walking all the way over there. I actually am going to destroy my robot and, and um, you know, spawn in over on the other side. I think I'll do it in like two seconds or so. There right, so I'm going to spawn in over on their side over there and um, jump in with my robot here, my other leader. That's the shredder number two. Well, not actually because he has the two, he has two magnums on him, only one punisher. Yeah, but um, my other leader there is um, with, the, with the thunder, which is a kinetic weapon, a ballistic weapon, shooting bullets, and the punisher, you know, where yeah, it goes. We call it making Swiss cheese in him. So here I am getting caught in the corner finally. You can see my health going down real bad. I had like two or three guys shooting at me just there. And they kind of just wiped me all the way up. They, they didn't displace me all the way. It's going to happen now. I'm going to get shot with the energy wave. But, um, you know, Zeus, they call it. But, um, you know. Yeah, you know, you don't want to get caught in the cone of fire. No matter how, how big you are, you, you will fall. You get caught in the cone of fire like that. You know, especially coming from any type of uh, weapons with any type of strength or any type of strength. Right, so it's going to be over pretty soon here also. Um, by the time I cross this bridge over here, we're going to take them out. We're going to take that last beacon out. Actually, I'm going to take that last beacon. And, um, and, I over there. and you see that bar is already depleted. So that's going to do them in. Nice and good right here. And um, right here I'm getting shot up by this little guy here. But I was so busy trying to catch the trying to catch the beacon. I said I made a mistake that one time I was playing with I changed the beacon, but I didn't change it all the way blue for it, so I didn't want to make that mistake. So I was I was um, sort of focusing my fire on him. I and I was kind of concerned with staying close to the beacon so I didn't get to didn't get to kill before. So here, the, the, the bar is gone already, pretty much done. Yeah, so thank you guys, we'll talk some more. Um, you know, the game is going through what it's going through right now, but um, 
you guys be blessed all right catch you in the next one I, I didn't stick around to check out the player stats in this one i kind of just ended it i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye